Welcome again. Right now we're at Acts chapter 4, verses 23 through to 31. The Apostles' Prayer of Defiance. Being let go, they came to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said to them. When they heard it, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord. In other words, they were all praying and said, O Lord, you are God who made the heaven and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, who by the mouth of your servant David said, Why do the nations rage and the peoples plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth take a stand and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his Messiah. And that's found in Psalm chapter 2 verses 1 through 2. So they prayed the Psalms, okay? This is very, very powerful, okay? Let me just encourage you. Open the Psalms and start praying the Psalms. It's just so powerful. Verse 27, For truly both Herod and Pontius Pilate with the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, to do whatever your hand and your counsel foreordained to happen. Now, Lord, look at their threats and grant to your servants to speak your word with all boldness while you stretch out your hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done through the name of your holy servant, Yeshua. And don't forget, this is in the context. They just came from basically court. They just came from the Sanhedrin and they were threatened never to proclaim the name of Jesus again, never to preach in the name of Jesus again. They were in court for doing miracles and preaching the name of Jesus and they threatened them. Now it says in the previous passage that we just read, they threatened them with many other threats. They threatened with many threats. It wasn't even written here. So who knows what kind of threats that they used, okay, to try to control Peter and John. And here, what happens? Peter and John just goes away and gathers the people together and prays the absolute opposite against the authorities of the land. Against not only the authorities, but the religious authorities. Think about that, because a lot of people today would say, well, you know, you're supposed to submit to authority. Well, you know, you're supposed to respect the religious authority in the land. Peter and John went away and prayed a prayer of defiance. Let's see what happened in the next verse. Verse 31, when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were gathered together. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they spoke the word of God with boldness. Here is a good sign of being filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking the word of God with boldness. And not only that, but the place was shaken. I tell you, God shook. It's like an earthquake happened, okay? The God, God shook the place, okay? The presence and the power of God can be present to the point where literal, physical things start shaking. What an awesome opportunity we have right now to seek the Lord. Seek Him and you will find Him if you seek Him with all your heart. And don't forget to call upon Him in truth in truth, and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.